Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today for our Delaware Student Success uh, session with Delaware College of Art and Design. My name is Karen Keegan from the Department of Education, and um, I just want to welcome everyone here. Um, I also want to acknowledge Kelly Sheritz, who's um, running this webinar as our partner from the University of Delaware Institute for Public Administration. They work with us on a lot of initiatives, including College Application Month, which is coming up next week. Um, so thank you to her, um, her team for working with us. So I want to just share um, a few things with you before I turn it over to the um, DCADS uh, group. We are um, speaking with all of our in-state Delaware colleges and universities to um, go over their admissions requirements. Um, and also something different that we're doing this year is having student panels so that students and parents and families can hear what it's like to be a student at um, all of our in-state schools. So um, tonight is Delaware College of Art and Design and tomorrow will be the University of Delaware. We have already um, heard from our other colleges that are on the on the list here on the screen. Um, however, those are all being recorded and will be posted on our DelawareStudentSuccess.org website. There's a button on the homepage that says view recorded webinars. So you're more than welcome to um, watch any of those. And you know, even if you're not interested in a particular school, it's really awesome to hear from students about what their college experience has been like. You can learn a lot about the college process, learn about questions you might wanna ask for different campuses. So I encourage you to, to you know, watch a few of these and just learn more about the whole college world so that you can make some good choices for yourself. One of the um, resources that we offer from the Department of Education to our students and high school students and families is a texting program. Um, um, my office runs this along with the University of Delaware Institute for Public Administration. And we text about two times a week to students and parents. Uh, things that are coming up, things like this webinar or other tips to get ready for whatever you choose to do after high school. It doesn't have to necessarily be college. Um, and the really cool thing about this is you can text back with questions. So if you're stuck or you're not sure what to do or who to ask or who can help you or whatever your question might be, you can send us a quick text and we'll answer it. Um, so there's the number on the screen. You just text the word success to 302-492-2092. And it will ask you for your first name, your last name, your year of graduation, and your school. And that's it. And of course, you can opt out at any time. So we encourage you um, to sign up and um, get information that way as well and get your questions answered. Um, anyone from ninth through 12th grade can sign up for that as well as parents and or caregivers. And so with that, I am going to turn it over to Sydney Paul from the Delaware College of Art and Design. And she is gonna go over some admissions things and then we're gonna hear from um, a student there. So Sydney. Hi everyone. Uh, again, my name is Sydney. Um, I'm an admissions counselor here at the Delaware College of Art and Design. Uh, I'm not no only an admissions counselor, I'm also an alumni, so I can speak to many personal experiences that I've had at DCAD. Um, and I'm also here with one of our current students, Daniela, uh, if you want to introduce yourself. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Daniela. Uh, I'm a resident assistant currently right now in Delaware College of Art and Design. Uh, yeah. Awesome, thank you. Um, so DCAD is the only two-year private institution or art and design institution. Um, students come to DCAD to receive their associates in fine arts, uh, and they can come to us with two options. So they can come and get their AFA uh, and jumpstart their career with the competitive portfolio that they receive through DCAD, uh, and then immediately start uh, in the workforce, or they can transfer to one of the many schools we're in agreement with. Um, meaning that all the credits you receive at DCAD will transfer seamlessly to these schools and you'll start as a junior there uh, to complete your bachelor's in fine arts. Um, Sorry, excuse me. We are a small school of about 200 students, so very personalized. Uh, you'll get the attention you need. Uh, there's about 200 students in both of our years. Um, 
you will become a priority. Everyone will know your name. Everyone will know your work. Uh, applying to DCAT is super easy. We have a free application. It's online. Uh, so all you have to do is fill in an application. Uh, our minimum GPA is a 2.0. So uh, as long as you submit your transcripts, we can see that. And uh, submitting a portfolio is required if you would like to be considered for our merit-based scholarship. As long as you submit a portfolio before March 15th, you are automatically considered for a scholarship where we award up to $10,000 a year. Um, we are also test optional, so you don't have to worry about that. For the portfolio, we're looking for 10 to 12 pieces of work that best represents you and your passions. We really wanna know you as an artist. Um, we're not really looking you know, at your grades over, I mean, somewhat of your grades, but we really wanna know you as who you are and what you create. So um, you could show us sketches, sculptures, photography, regardless of the major that you may or may questionably be interested in. Um, you can submit anything you desire uh, and we would, love to have you on campus come take a look at what we have to offer our studio classes we're open um, to the public for visits uh, as well as open houses um, so yeah we would love to have you and and welcome you into our institution all right i think uh, we will move into uh, some questions uh, of course please put any questions in the chat i see yes we do have merit Scholarships, the only scholarship DCAD does offer um, is merit-based scholarship. So like I said, as long as you submit that portfolio before March 15th, um, on or before, uh, we do have rolling admissions, but the one deadline we do have is for our merit scholarship. So uh, portfolio by March 15th, you'll automatically be considered. Um, we do accept outside scholarships too. So if any monies you've won in contests or you've gotten awards uh, through, you know, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, anything like that, we accept it. Um, and we also uh, promote uh, filling out your free application for federal student aid. So any monies you can get through the government, uh, through our institutional aid, as long as you fill out that FAFSA, um, we, we could see what we can give you. Um, again, just keep rolling questions in the chat if you would like, uh, but Maybe Daniela can answer some questions like, uh, why did you choose DCAD? So I chose DCAD mainly because it is a two year school and it's small. And so to start, because it's a two year school, I don't have to necessarily, like right now I'm an animation student, but I don't necessarily have to keep up with that all my four years if I wanted to go get a BFA. I could keep that in animation and then maybe I want to go into photography. Maybe I want to go something more specific, maybe into like character animations or like 3D models and rigging, uh, which is what I really like that DCAD offers because it's so, it's like here, two, two years, this, this is like your meat and potatoes and then you can go and expand on that afterwards or go straight into the workforce. I really like having that option. And um, it's like freedom of what you want to do with your future. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. We offer five majors, um, animation, illustration, graphic design, fine arts and photography. Uh, we're hopefully going to be adding some more majors, uh, possibly. So I don't want to, you know, be held to that, but um, some exciting things are coming. Uh, we do have many articulation agreements. Um, to other schools. So schools like Moore, MICA, University of the Arts. We did have a connection with Pratt, but I'm not sure if we're still in that articulation agreement. Um, so I'm sorry, I don't have more solid uh, information on that specific question. Uh, we did have a connection with Pratt um, that we might have to revisit soon. Uh, but the main schools would be uh, Moore, MICA, PCAD, Goldie Beacom, uh, SVA, SCAD, um, there's a longer list on our website if I'm forgetting some. Uh, RISD is a good one. Uh, Parsons. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, what else can I say to that? Uh, we also offer many trips during uh, your time at DCAD. So uh, we're not just 
you know, rigorous classroom setting. Uh, we like to take students out, get you uh, familiar with the amazing cities that surround us. So we take you to New York, we take you to uh, Washington, DC. Uh, there's actually the, the DC trip, right? It's coming up uh, October 30th, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, That's yeah. what it's scheduled for. I'm, I'm, ex I'm, ex I'm not going, but I'm excited for everyone else. Oh, you're not going? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's another conversation. That day. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's amazing opportunities. We take uh, students to uh, smaller, um, trips like to the the zoo to uh, a lot of the historical uh, district around Wilmington um, lots of art galleries nearby us like the Delaware Contemporary uh, the Christiana White Gallery um, so lots of cool opportunities oh yeah so um, the brevi <laughs> I was saying uh, the colleges in abbreviation so Rhode Island State design institution. I'm not exactly sure the full flush. That's why I abbreviated them. SCAD, uh, Savannah College of Art and Design, MICA, Maryland Institute of Art and Design, um, PCAD, Pennsylvania, College of Art and Design. <laughs> um, Uh, it's totally okay to come to DCAD undecided. A lot of students come and, and we accept all walks of life, uh, age, um, you know, academic standing. We really find ways to accept students and, you know, give them a chance um, and to, you know, really show what they can do and show their pas passions and, and hone their skills. So it's okay to come to DCAD undecided. You don't have to declare your major right away. Our first year is geared towards students finding themselves. So, uh, you know, regardless of major and, and your academic standing, all, all students will be uh, taking drawing classes, color theory, uh, three-dimensional design, four-dimensional design. Um, you'll get to explore other majors. You're not, um, stuck to one thing you're you're exploring you're getting to experiment and then it's in your second year where you finally kind of settle into something uh and 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 declare a major so um it's a good question to ask um about like what animation classes i have i guess um it, it depends because it depends on like what's available like for the semester each semester so like um right now i have game art so like game art visualization so that class is all about like assets for video games but not just video games it could also be like board games card games just games in general not necessarily on a digital platform per se uh and then there's also like drawing for animation while other students have drawing three which is like a focus of like the figure i'm pretty sure um us animation students have a focus of like drawing specifically for animation and has you geared towards thinking like how am i going to draw this but then also bring it into how do i want to bring this to life with like frames and how does that translate when i bring it into something like adobe or like after effects and that kind of idea. Um, do you have dorms? Yes, there are, there are dorms. I'm in one right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, for your first year, everyone is assigned a roommate. All first years have to have a roommate. Um, I think if you come in, you can like, like let's say both you and your other friend are like coming in together as first year's first semester. I think if you write each other's names down on the form, you can you can dorm together. Yeah. So um, for your first semester, you might end up with someone who's like really chill and awesome. You like it'll be you click and it's amazing. You might want to write each other's names down again for not again, but like the next semester and say like I want to room with this person for the second semester, and then you guys are together again instead of like being put in a hat and like, you know, mixing and matching all over again. Yeah, I think the rooms are awesome at DCAD. Uh, I mean, I lived in one, uh, of course, I went to DCAD, like I said, and um, yeah, they're apartment style. So there's a large living space, a large sleeping space, a private bathroom. 
do you seem to have enough space there, Daniela? Oh yeah, this, I mean, this is only a single, but like, it's, I mean, if I could like, move my camera, <laughs> it's like, I got, I got a whole closet, calendar, doors in there. There's a, there's a lot of space in here. I, uh, like I could, um, maybe I can like pick myself up over here. Okay. <laughs> there's a little kitchenette. There's a little space. Yeah. All students get a drafting table. Yeah, a, a drafting table and a little art stool. I'm in my own folding chair. <laughs> our residence hall also has our cafeteria on the first floor. Uh, the residence hall is a block away from the main building where you will have your classes. Uh, so it's a two minute walk. Um, but if you want to pop down for breakfast, it's a quick elevator ride down. Um, and yeah, we have a pretty robust um, array of food. I guess oh, yeah. hot bar, snack mm -hmm. bar, mm -hmm. deli bar. A fruit um, bar. Well, not for this semester, at least for the deli bar. That's a yeah. whole situation, but should be I know. next semester. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I like the fruit bar personally, because it's like, I, if I want fruit, it's just right there. And like all these other things, like cucumbers and carrots, like, you know, the whole, the whole thing. So yeah, it's yeah. nice. I'm glad you like it. Um, we are doing in-person tours. Uh, we do have a sign up on our website, uh, uh, campus visits. Um, you can uh, sign up and if you don't see a date and a time that really works for you, you can always email someone admissions and we will personally put you on our calendars. Uh, just because of COVID things, um, we had to limit the times and, and the amount of people. So as as we're opening things up, uh, we're we're adding more times, um, adding you know more guests to the list of um, you know parents. Instead of having one parents, both parents can come, or or a grandparent or an aunt. Um, so yeah, we're definitely doing on campus visits. Uh, we're doing open houses. Our first one is October sixteenth, and then the next one is in December. It's the second week in December. I can't remember what day that is. Um, but all that stuff is on our website as well. Um, definitely sign up. Uh, so all the uh, different types of careers that people can have uh, in different majors. Um, really quickly to the tours. Um, we don't do uh, individualized tours on Saturdays. Uh, since our open houses are on Saturdays, that's when you would get a Saturday tour. Um, but yeah, I would say if if a weekday is really not good for you, I'm not even sure if the building's open on the weekend. That would be another question. Um, so I would say only Saturday tours uh, on our open house days. Uh, but back to the question of um, the kinds of careers that people can have with different majors. Um, yeah, there's tons of, you know, start here, go anywhere. Uh, I was an illustration major and I had a very narrow mind of what I thought I could be doing. I thought publishing was it for me, children's books, which is fine. If you love children's books, that's great. Um, I have two children's books published myself um, and I found that publishing isn't really for me and that's okay. Um, and I found other ways to express myself uh, through my illustrations, um, motion graphic work, uh, type uh, illustrate illustrative type um, animation majors they can go into background design character design costume design uh, fine arts majors can do printmaking sculptural um, you know more conceptual pieces in painting and, and all those other medias um, you know tattoo design uh, graphic designs they or graphic Graphic design can do packaging design, um, app design, web design. Uh, it's really amazing. You know, we need artists these days. So there's really no reason to say the whole starving artist thing because everything uh, needs a creative effort in this world. Um, what degrees are offered and what opportunities? Uh, so DCAD only offers an associates in fine arts. Um, with the option to transfer to finish your uh, bachelor's in fine arts. So you can come to DCAD and then we have many articulation agreements with other art and design schools uh, that you seamlessly transfer into and get your uh, bachelor or transfer in as a junior and then finish your bachelor's degree. Um, so, you know, you can jumpstart your career with an AFA uh, with your associates in fine arts and, and you know, you're not 
just doing the two years towards nothing. You finish with a degree. Uh, yes, we, we, um, ha we are only a two-year program. And um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. So transfer, get your uh, BFA. So some students come to DCAD, they, uh, they do the two-year program and then they start working. We have uh, one alumni, uh, Leah, Leah Beach. She was recognized for her um, photographs of her grandmother going through um, uh, the digression of dementia and she was globally recognized. So she uh, was funded grants through the government to go and travel and and document these things. Uh, it's same with the UN AIDS campaign. So, yeah. Uh, so, uh, a typical day for me is waking up early in the morning to that alarm. Right, uh, it's time to get ready for the morning. Uh, get all dressed get all my things together that I need for that class that day. Uh, I go downstairs, quickly grab whatever I need to eat. Sometimes I don't have the time, sometimes I do. Uh, and then I'll like run to school, have my class. And it could either be like, like a regular class that's like a little over an hour or one that's like a studio class. So that's like sitting there for four hours, having breaks in between. Uh, maybe I'm like during those breaks, I'm going to the library, sleep, sleeping in that hammock, or like maybe I'm going down, like visiting some other people, maybe some of the saying hi to faculty. Um, and then I'll like, and then after that, after my classes are done, maybe I'll go get lunch, uh, finish the rest of my classes, and then I'll start doing my homework. Um, and throughout all of that, too. There are times, there are a lot of times where I'm talking with people constantly. Uh, I find it hard for myself to like catch a break with like so much socialization. Cause it's always, cause because DCAD is so small, you're always gonna find yourself talking to somebody. And like, even in the emptiest of spaces, like it's, it's you and one other person, but it can be like so engaging and so in the moment versus the same as just like you're sitting at lunch and you're willing to have this like hot talk or like, you know, really, really deep into this one like subject, and it's like, uh, really gets you going. It's, it could be the same energy, but it doesn't matter necessarily where you are. You're always gonna find yourself talking to people. So, I I really like that about my everyday. But I'm I I never I never get the chance to like I guess be alone. <laughs> How late are your classes, Daniela? Um. Latest would be six o'clock, but that's only on Monday for me. Uh, nothing past that though. Um, but the building is open past six, I think until like 11 at night. So students can, uh, like if they have work on like the computers at the school and they didn't like, and they have work saved on there, they can just go back and like quickly work on it. That's what I did a lot like last semester. I would quickly run to the school, get whatever I needed, and quickly hand it in and then run back and get food, you know, try to crunch that time all together. Um, how big are the class sizes? Um, I'd say like, you can range from like five to maybe like 15, 20 students, something like that. So you could have like a really tight knit, like close group, or you could have something more like um more perspectives and like more and something that could like add add for more discussion which is something I really like when it comes to like a writing class because that's when it's like that's when you're really like digging your brain and like thinking these big things and it's like you really want to have those like other people around you to really bring in these other perspectives on what you're talking about yeah and uh Sometimes, I mean, our, our animation major is a pretty popular, so we have a lot of students in there, so you can have larger class sizes there, whereas photography, uh, we do have, you know, students like, uh, it's, a, it's usually one of the smaller size uh, majors, um, so that's when, you know, you have only 10 people, because you have 10 people in that major overall, so that's when your class sizes can be um, small. Um, I just want to touch on one of the questions above. Are there core academic 
requirements or dive right into art classes. And I would say, yeah, you dive right in, you go right into studio classes, it's all hands-on. Um, those classes that you are taking are kind of prerequisite excuse me, prerequisites for the bigger picture. So uh, that first foundation year you're doing, you know, draw, regardless of major, you're drawing every major, uh, drawing color theory, uh, black and white. So everyone's in it together. And, you know, those build towards uh, your main major. Uh, okay. How do you think, uh, do you like living in Wilmington, Daniela? Yeah, I, I like it a lot. Um, it's it's nice that I can like wake up in the morning and if I need a, a nice Starbucks drink, I can like run five minutes and it's right there. Uh, it's it's really cool to like be be surrounded like by a bunch of different shops and stuff like that. Cause back at home I didn't have that as a more like suburban area where I'd have to like go out and drive. Yeah, yeah. Places. <laughs> um, but here it is everything's like in walking distance and um, it's it's really convenient and really nice. Uh, our school only has one main building where our classes are, and then the residence hall is a block away. Um, so we have two buildings all together, um, but again, two minute walk. So you're not, you know, 20 minutes walking, you know, across campus, yeah. like a state yeah. school. <laughs> uh, like carrying your like portfolio bag and all your materials. Like imagine doing that for 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, do we have classes with people from different majors? Yep, your first year experience, uh, you're gonna get, you know, drawing one classes, figure drawing classes, uh, color theory. So you're gonna have a lot of people mixed in different majors. Um, you know, it really sets everyone equal, even we meet everyone where they are uh, and we're able to individually, you know, work with students uh, who may be on a lower level, a mid-level, advanced level, and then adjust assignments accordingly. So we meet you where you are, you're never left behind. Um, can you drive as a first year student? You can definitely drive. Um, we have 60% students commute and we have 40% that live on campus. If you live on campus, you can definitely have a car. Uh, it's street parking though. So um, you can get a pass through the city of Wilmington. It's hundred dollars for six months. Um, as long as you have that parking pass in your window, no one will bother you. You can park at any metered space and it, um, you're, you don't have to feed the meter. You don't have to move your car. Um, Um, so something. You don't, sorry. Oh. No, 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 I was just gonna go real quickly to the live on campus. <laughs> uh, you do not have to uh, live on campus. Like I said, you can commute. Uh, many students commute. That's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah, um, I was gonna say uh, for myself, I don't actually come from Delaware. I'm from New Jersey, so um, you know, me being like, yes, I want to do art. That's like what I want to do as my career. I know what I want to do. And then looking at the choices for New Jersey and like in state, like where can I really go? And like for my situation, it's like, there's not really many options. But then I found DCAD and it's like, it was literally everything that I looked for in a school. And um, like the fact that it's small, uh, it's not too far away from home, but far enough where it's like, I don't gotta, I don't have like my family knocking on my door every day. Um, and then it's also like getting, getting away also from all of that, from family and like, you know, what you used to know and trying something new. Cause a lot of people, when they pick schools, it's, uh, they want to start fresh. And that was DCAD for me. I wanted to start fresh and like just new slate, new canvas, like new me, you know, like how people have New Year's resolutions, like new year, new me. That that's me, that's what DCAD was for me. Uh, so change, I guess changing topics a little bit, um, clubs and stuff like that and other activities. So because I'm a resident assistant or an RA, I actually organize programs and events for students to enjoy, even myself. Uh, and so uh, I'll do like, this week I have coming up a painting with Bob Ross event. So students can come down to the set, the, the, the dorms 
and we all like sit in front of the big TV and we have all our painting stuff and I have stuff like I provide for the students if people can't bring stuff or whatever. And then we just watch a, an episode of Bob Ross and it's, it's gonna be cool. Uh, there's also like clubs too in DCAD. You can actually start your own club. Like it can be anything. Like, like there's no, there's no limit, no boundary to that. Like um, it, if you want a club about dance, you can have a club about dance. If you want a club about like, uh, I don't know, maybe Magic the Gathering, you, you can do that. You want a, um, a Pokemon Go club, you can do that. Uh, you can even have something where it's like appreciating the strawberries. I don't know, like some kind of fruit, like something so so absurd and silly. You can do that. And Deke has all, all for it. Uh, as long as you have yourself, two other people and an, an advisor um, and any, anything's possible. And uh, I, I really like that DCAD gives you that choice because it's it's now now you you have this really niche and specific interest and you can you can bring that to other people and share it with others and it's it's really it's really nice. Um, oh okay so so switching gears again a little bit, um, relationships with like professors and stuff like that, and so this is this goes along the subject of like. DCAD being small, um, most, if not all teachers go by first name basis, which is like really, really nice because it's already, you're, you're just automatically almost like skipping formalities in a way. And it's like, now you're on this like first name basis. It's like, it's like this new personal, personal level. Um, and so teachers, not only like you get to call them by their first name, but like you also, Get to know who they are and then they get to know who you are and because classes are small or like it's not like a, a huge seminar of 50 students so more often than not teach, teachers will remember you and they're, they're going to know you individually and get like spend time with you and they'll know your work and they'll like recognize like specific traits in your work and it it's really nice because um it it makes you feel acknowledged as a, as a student. And it's like, wow, I'm really like, man, I'm doing great right now. And it's like, maybe the teacher's like giving you critique on your work. It's like, man, I'm not doing so great right now. It's like, you're getting actual feedback versus like, maybe look at this or maybe look at that. But, but because the teacher, you and the teacher are so, there's this like, and I guess like a level of intimacy, it, for lack of a better word, between the two that it makes for this really, really interesting interaction where you're getting this like genuine feedback on your work and like what you need to do better. It's really nice. It's good. Uh, uh, time, I think that's a question for me. <laughs> uh, what times are for the open house? Uh, we are running open house from 9.30 to 2.30 about, and we have, um, things going on where students can come and and kind of design their own schedule uh that day so we'll have tours on a certain time if students want to go see the residence hall so we'll have like a rotating schedule um just to be covid compliant so there's not too many students in one area or too many families um so like i said we'll have tours we'll have lunch um, portfolio reviews and it's on a rotating schedule so from 9 30 to 2 30. um and you don't need any um, for, so how many years of high school art education do you need to attend DCAD? Uh, none, we meet all students where they are. Uh, it's really based off of uh, your portfolio that you submit when you um, uh, apply to DCAD. Um, and even then it's, it's just, we really try to see you as the artist you are and, um, and your passions and um, you can come and hone your skills. We have students who come uh, to be part-time and take a few classes. We have students who are full-time and have the whole degree program. Um, so something something to think about is like, uh, what makes a student stand out? And um, that's a little hard to answer because it's, everyone here is so very unique. Everyone has like 
their signature look or like their say like their signature style or like way of doing things, the way that they talk or move or speak. Everyone's unique here in vastly so many different ways. So like having like what makes a student stand out is like I feel like everyone stands out in their own way, which also makes for like, well now everyone blends in, but like it's to the point where like you can look at someone and see like you can and look at their work too and see like all these different individual characteristics and it's like each, each person stands out differently from the rest. No one no one's really the same with their work. It's really it's it's cool to, to have that that perspective um, when looking at your own art versus everyone else's. And it's like, wow, especially something like where maybe you came from a school where not very that's not very like art oriented. And now you're you're in such a densely populated space where it's like now everyone's creative. Now everyone's like making all this art. So now you're you're constantly now exposed to like all this cool and amazing stuff. And um, it makes you reflect on yourself a lot and like, uh, wow, I could be doing this or I could be doing that. It's like, makes makes you want to strive to be better. And it's, it's, it's cool. Yeah. And from an admission standpoint, um, uh, really students who apply and, and, you know, really show that they're passionate. Um, they take the time to photograph their, their portfolio uh, pieces very nicely. Um, you know, they're exploring different materials, they're trying different things. Um, you know, they're willing to be open and listen to uh, criticism in portfolio reviews. You know, we really look at those things. And uh, like I said, we meet every student where they are. So we understand that not everyone you know, has those skills or, or, or that type of thinking, but um, that's what stands out to us. Those who take the time um, really care about craftsmanship and they, and they show um, how passionate they are uh, to pursue a career in art design. Um, and then, you know, we teach you all those things anyway, uh, anyway, from craftsmanship, how to uh, photograph your work, how to create a digital portfolio, um, a, a, a paper portfolio, all, all those types of things. So we, we do teach that as well. So really um, you could start from ground zero and, and we'll get you there. Uh, so internships through DCAD, we don't have a, a, a specific office um, that takes care of, you know, opportunity or internships and, and career opportunities, but um, just through sheer connections of, of our professors um, and uh, and the art galleries in the creative district that is Wilmington, uh, students are able to get internships. So uh, our graphic design um, professor, John Brakey, he is constantly bringing students to uh, type foundries, um, uh, printing agencies, uh, all that good stuff. So students can bring their portfolios, get professional reviews. Um, and, and most of the time they're offered internships. Uh, our students, uh, businesses have come to DCAD asking students to create logos, um, design their holiday card. Our, uh, the local banks come to, uh, to students and they want them to design their, their holiday card and they get paid to do these things. And uh, it's really awesome for students to uh, show their work, sell their work, be recognized. Um, we also have student Ex, excuse me, exhibitions um, a year where uh, faculty show their work, students show their work, uh, visiting artists show their work, and uh, but students can and be seen, recognized, sell their work. Um, one of our uh, alumni, Josh Hollingsworth, he ended up getting an internship at the Christiana White Gallery just because he would go there. Um, very often and, and view the work and talk to the people there and created that relationship. Uh, so he then got an internship there to, um, you know, help uh, housekeeping, I guess you could say. And now he curates there, uh, shows his own work. So um, yeah, just we help you make those connections. We set you up with those connections. Um, and I think it's just a part of our uh, curriculum where we take students out of that comfort element and, and take you outside of school and explore those cities and those galleries and all that, so. 
So it looks like we have answered all the questions. Um, I just want to ask Sydney and Daniela, are, is there anything else you want to share about your school that you think we haven't touched on that you think it's important for high school students and parents to know about? Um, if I could say something. Uh, I think it's important to understand that when you come to DCAD, you don't have to know anything about art uh, to come here. Like, you do need that portfolio, but that shouldn't deter you from wanting to be an artist. This is this is a very, DCAD is like a very welcoming environment to, and they're here to teach you and help you grow and like help you perform well in your art. So you, maybe you might not see yourself as an artist right now, but I hope that like, if you choose, choose to go to DCAD, the, um, DCAD will help you realize and like the artist that you want to be. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I think that's well said. Thank you. I think I needed that advice myself. <laughs> so thank you, Tim. I need to talk to you after. Um, that was really awesome. Um, I've been to the exhibition for your students and uh, it's amazing the work that comes out of your student body and your, your professors as well, but um, especially the students. Um, I've also taken classes at DCAD. So um, I think it's just, it's a magical place and um, the creativity and the support that students get is kind of unlike any other school, I would say. So um, I wanna thank everyone for, um, for listening to these stories and this information. And we put the link to the admission site in the chat. So um, please take advantage of the open houses and go see the school. Um, you know, even if you're not sure that you may or may not want to attend an art school, go see what it's about. Um, maybe you end up just taking a class or two there sometime um, or somebody in your family does, but it's, it's a really amazing place. And I would urge you to take the opportunity to go see what they offer. So with that, um, I will close the webinar. And um, again, this recording will be posted on our Delaware Student Success.org website in a few days. And so if you have friends who are interested in art or are in your art classes, or you know people who might be interested, please share this information and ask them to watch so that they can get this information as well. So thank you everyone and, um, and good luck to all of you. <laughs>